Hi, my name is Victor and welcome to the channel. In the previous video, we added a sealant to this car. Now we're going to apply a wax over it. Now adding a wax over a sealant is not necessary, but I like to do it because it gives the paint that extra depth, that extra uh, pop and color. We're gonna be using uh, Griot's Garage Best of Show Paste Wax, which is a Carnuba wax, which really makes the paint pop. I'm gonna be using this foam applicator pad to go ahead and apply it. So we're just gonna go ahead and open it up. Just rub my foam applicator pad in there. And you can see that it's on the pad. And go ahead and go on this section. You're just gonna wanna go in straight back and forth motions like this. You can go ahead and add this to your tail lights as well and your headlights. The reason why we go in the back and forth motion is if you get anything stuck in here and you go in a circle, circle scratches are more noticeable and harder to take out than a straight line scratch. So you're pretty much going to go throughout the whole car like this. Just pay attention when you're applying to see if, it, if you have any uh, wax in there. When you need some more, just give it a quick little dab. Just keep on going in back and forth lines. Try to give it a nice even coat. And it doesn't have to be thick. It's a nice thin even coat. I'm gonna, I'm gonna go ahead and apply this to the rest of the car. I applied all the wax all over the car and I let it sit for about 15 minutes and now it's ready to buff off. A trick that you can do to see if your wax is ready to be buffed off is to take your finger and rub it across. If your finger takes off the wax, then it's ready to be buffed off. If the wax smears, then you should wait a little bit more and try again later. As you guys can see, this one came off, so it's ready to be buffed off. I'm just gonna take a pluff, plush my, microfiber towel. I'm gonna go ahead and start to buff it off. There is gonna be a little bit of resistance since the wax has hardened a little bit, but that is okay. As you guys can see, the depth and gloss of the paint is on a whole nother level now after applying the wax. This is why I always like to apply a wax after a sealant. You guys can see just from this section how, how good the paint is looking. I'm gonna go ahead and buff it off the entire car and then we can go ahead and take a look. I just finished removing all of the wax off of the car. As you can tell, the car is looking amazing. Now after I finish buffing off the wax, you should go over the car and see if you missed any spots. If it's a nice sunny day outside, you can pull the car out or if you have a little flashlight like this one, you can go over on the car and see if you missed any spots. After I check the car to see if I missed any spots, I like to clean up any wax residue I find. If there's any, sometimes it gets in here. Um, on these cars, you get them on the parking sensor, it gets in here. A great little trick that I've learned is if you take a boar's head a soft brush, a little bit of detail spray, spray it in the brush and spray a little bit in the area and just gently try to push the bristles where you see that you have wax or sealant in there. If you go ahead and do that, then wipe off the detail spray. It usually takes it off. You might have to do it a couple times to fully remove it. You can also use your fingernail and get it in there. And that also works great. If you do end up finding any leftover wax that has hardened, 
<clears throat> excuse me, that has hardened, or maybe you left the wax sitting for too long and the wax got hard, you can use a little bit of detail spray, spray it in your rag and spray it on the surface to help break it up as well. That's pretty much it for the waxing and cleanup portion. In the next video, we're going to be cleaning the glass and sealing it and also cleaning up the wheels and dressing it. See you guys next time.